Hey guys, welcome back once again, this is Freaking Man speaking. Well, the video for today is going to be about how to install Kylesia.files with Ajax Shell. So, uh, basically we're going to have the shell of Ajax Shell and the .files config that is going to make the process easier for those users that are basically new on Hyperland. Okay, so we have to go to this website that I'm going to leave in the description and we have to copy this. When you copy that, give me one second, we have to open the terminal. You paste it here, you click on yes. Uh, just for you to know, guys, this same command is going to help you as well to update the system. I mean, the dot files when you have to. Um, I'm going to press yes once again, yes once again, yes once again, yes, yes, yes to all in my case because I already made the installation process. When you install that, Mm, that is going to ask you to switch to Hyperland or basically it is going to show that Hyperland is not running so this is going to install Hyperland and you would have to log out okay in my case I'm, I'm going to do it I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to log out into Hyperland in order to explain you how to like make coexist the shell of Kyalistia and also the Ajax shell so remember that for switching into Hyperland, you have to look out and you have to look for the option that says desktop sessions, in my case, SDDM. Or if you have any other one, you have to look for Hyperland that is going to be basically in the logout screen. Okay, so we are here once again. This is the a um, this is the Kyalistia shell. And now give me one second, I'm going to switch to another workspace. We can choose here the wallpaper if you want to, but since we're going to install Ajax shell, um, this is not going to be like mandatory as a, as a first step. Oh, okay, so we have to install Thonar. So super T for open the terminal. You have to type here yay Thonar. So that's basically the, the default file manager of Kyalesia. You can switch it to Dolphin or to Nautilus, whatever you want to. <clears throat> In my case, I'm going to use Thonar because it's going to make the process as simple for me. Okay, we press super E. Ctrl H for you to see the hidden files and now we have to go to config in my case I'm going to show you for example what is the config uh, path of this kyalesia.file because we are going to need to be here now you have to go to hyperland and we have to open this one okay you can open it with any uh, file man uh, I mean I mean edit file uh, app that you have and we have to look for the one that says give me one second because I want to open that Okay, we have to also choose a default terminal because we need to have something important here. Hold on, I would love to use visual code. Uh, what is the number? Three, four? Yes, it's going to be the three. I mean, yes. Perfect, so we have that installed. Now we have to open this once again, set default application, and I'm going to look for Visual Studio Code. Perfect, there we have it. So in this section, you have to look for this one, the start shell. We have to uh, make a pound here or com comment it. We have to press Ctrl S to save the changes. And now we have to go to our web browser once again. I'm going to open Chromium. Uh, oh yeah, we didn't go go. So we have to look now for AX shell. Here it is. We scroll down what it says, Arch Linux. You copy that and as you can see here this command also works for updating an existing installation for example if there is a new update you can just copy this and paste it into a terminal for you to update that shell remember that this shell is not compatible at all with multiple with multiple with multi-monitor i'm sorry and we have here like the roadmap of uh the ajax shell okay so there is pending multi-monitor support the ajax system the osd and the otp manager we type here our pseudo password we have to wait a few seconds because uh when so for you to know that the shell is basically installed that is going to pop up a window at the end of the installation asking you for set up the key bind for that uh the appearance if you want to have a doc if you want to have a profile picture and all that Uh, it is about to finish, by the way.
Okay, I'm going to pause here because I want you to see the final screen. I'm going to... Oh, give me one second. Where is OBS? Oh, where are you, boy? Oh, here it is. Okay, so here we are. For example, if you see here some keybinds, those are going to have conflict uh, with the kaelicia.files keybind. So, for example, this message, uh, that is not necessary. That is basically going to pop up a random message that is not necessary. And also, for example, the pins is going to be in conflict with super Q that's going to close the apps. I'm going to put here super P. Uh, the other one is going to be this one, app launcher. For me, I would like to use an A, you know, A for a for apps, and the Tmux Super Plus. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe Alt or open the Tmux. That's going to be like a terminal in the top when you re when you load uh, the Ajax shell, and the rest it's going to be fine at least for me. But remember that you can set it up in the way you want. Now, in appearance, you can go ahead and choose a wallpaper directory that I'm going to put here. Others. Uh, pictures, uh, oh no, downloads, Warhol, open, that's going to be my main wallpaper directory and I'm going to show you why in short. Uh, we also have here some settings about the, that bar, that, that fabric based bar. For example, I'm not going to touch anything because honestly, I love to have a notch in the top. <clears throat> System, this is basically uh, metrics or things like that that is going to be shown in the in that shell, in that fabric, and we have to click in apply and reload, and that's going to load in the top the shell as you can see here. Okay, so we have here the, give me one second, I'm going to switch to an empty workspace. So we have here a doc that is going to show us the currently open apps, and for some reason OBS is not there. Um, and yeah, basically that's it. So if you go to wallpapers, that, it, that is going to show you the, the wallpaper path, my case i'm going to put this one that a friend of mine made it for me saber thank you for that one and yeah basically that's it guys so now when you restart the pc this shell is no longer be there so that's going to be removed and for example if you would like to like uh read like under the changes you can just go ahead once again to the config file um right here <clears throat> hyperland exacts you can just uncomment this and that is going to like start once again the Kylie shell and you can uninstall the Ajax shell. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned before, it was a fast and easy tutorial. If you have any question, please let me know. Talking about the lock screen, uh, basically the maintainer or the creator of this told me that it installs a default lock screen made by him uh, right here. Okay, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know and see ya. Bye bye.